Today we're talking about the ACES color science and how to work with it in DaVinci Resolve. And pay close attention because this, this is the future of filmmaking. Let's take a look. All right, we're back. Happy New Year, everybody. It's been a minute since I put out a video. I'm really excited to be sitting in front of the camera again. I missed you guys. How have you been? I actually had a couple different ideas for what I wanted this video to be, but I left it up to you guys. The overwhelming majority of you wanted a DaVinci Resolve tutorial. So here we are. We're going to be talking about the Aces color space. And if you're anything like I was a couple months ago, you're probably sitting there like, what the hell is Aces? So let's just go ahead and answer that one first. You know how at the Oscars every year, whenever somebody wins an award, they always say something along the lines of, I'd like to thank the Academy. Well, the Academy that they're talking about, if you didn't know, is the Academy of Motion Pictures. They're responsible for determining who gets those awards, but that's not all that they do. They're also responsible for setting the standards for our films, like you know, audio levels and luminosity and stuff like that. And one of the things that they were trying to standardize is color science. Up until very recently, you were kind of stuck with the color science that your camera came with. So Canon has their color science, Sony has theirs, Red has theirs, Ari has theirs. And so if you took a shot and you filmed it with three different cameras from three different brands, you'd have three very different looking videos, even if they were the same exact video. Now this kind of poses a problem for people who use multiple different cameras. So let's say I was making a video and my main camera was the Canon SL2, but then I turned around and I shot some footage on my phone. Maybe I had my hands on a GoPro and I was shooting some footage on there. Those images would look very different. The colors would look very different, which means when I put the video together, if I didn't do a good enough job color matching those clips, everything would, it wouldn't look cohesive. It would look very, well, very amateur actually. So the Academy was looking for a way to standardize all of this. So no matter what you were doing, everybody was working in the same color space and they came out with the ACES color space, which is a larger color space. You're working with more colors. The light roll off, the highlight roll off looks a lot more natural. Everything just looks better and you can either shoot in the ACES color science if your camera has that option, or you can actually transform all of your footage into the ACES color space in post. And that's what I want to show you how to do in DaVinci Resolve because this is going to take the guesswork out of color matching. It's going to make everything work in the same color space and everything's just going to look better. So without further ado, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you how to start working in the ACES color space. All right, let's do this. We are in the color page in DaVinci Resolve. I've got a couple clips lined up here and ready to go. The first clip is just a drone shot of a beach. It's just some stock footage, regular Rec. 700 nine, nothing special. The second clip is a clip of a woman in a hotel room. This is actually a Blackmagic RAW file that I got from the Blackmagic Design website. Now, normally color matching and color grading, both of these clips would be a huge pain in the butt because they are using completely different color sciences. But when we switch over to the ACES color science, everything's gonna be in the same color space. We're not gonna have to worry about matching. Everything's gonna be good to go. So to start working in the ACES color space, what we first need to do is go into our project settings. You can do that either by hitting this gear down down here, or you can go into file project settings. And once your project settings have loaded up, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're in your color management tab and you're going to go over to color space, hit that drop down box and change it to ACES CC. Make sure you're on the latest version of ACES, which is ACES 1.1. And then you're going to come down to where it says ACES input device transform. Now there used to be a period of time when ACES first came out where you would actually have to choose which camera you were using and DaVinci Resolve has a ton of different choices of cameras and that would allow DaVinci Resolve to detect which camera you used in order to shoot your footage and it could transform it into the ACES color space. But since then, DaVinci Resolve has now gained the capability to detect which camera you used on their own. So you don't have to worry about that. So we're gonna leave that as no input transform. Then we're gonna make sure that our ACES output device transform is set to Rec. 709 and we'll leave the process node dropdown box exactly where it is. Go ahead and hit save and take a look at what happens. 
Our Black Magic RAW file now has more contrast, more saturation. It's looking more like a Rec. 709 clip, which is nice. And over here in our Rec. 709 clip, you'll see the blacks are a little bit blacker. The colors have changed just a little bit. The color space is where it needs to be. Everything is already matched. We don't have to worry about any of that, which means we can get started in our grade. And what I'm going to do is just a quick little teal and orange grade here. I'm going to go ahead and maybe put a little bit of contrast on here. I'm going to set my black point. Bring that down just a little bit. Whoop, too far, too far. Bring that down. Let's go ahead and bring the skin up. Whoop, too far again. One thing you'll notice that once you have transformed over to the ACES color space is that all of your controls, while they are still working basically the exact same way, they're also a little bit more sensitive. So where you used to have to push a bunch of color in in order to see something, now a little bit goes a long way. So now that we have our contrast here, let's go ahead and add another serial node and a layer node. And first thing we're gonna do is isolate all of our orange, red, and yellow colors. Let's come over to qualifier, make sure that our highlight button is turned on. Let's bring this width down, move it over a little bit. Oh, too far, that width up, been pretty good right there. Maybe bring the width down a little bit. Go ahead, just adjusting this, and we'll work on our background a little bit. Put a little bit of purple in the shadows. Bring some teal into the midtones. Adjust our low range. Go ahead and turn our highlights off. Skin a little bit. Desaturate those blacks and those whites. That's looking pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and grab a still just to save some time. Just drag that color grade onto our beach scene. And we're done. The Aces color space, like I said, is gonna take the guesswork out of color matching your shots, but that's not the end all be all. That's not just a quick fix. You still need to color correct and all that stuff, which means you still need to know the basics of color grading. I've actually made a video that can help you get started with that. You can check that out right here. And if you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video. Go watch it now.